Bloat is a life-threatening medical condition, okay? And it's not something to take lightly. What bloat is, is where the dog's stomach basically flips upside down and their stomach just starts to expand with, with air, with gas. If you don't get your dog to the emergency vet immediately, your dog is going to die, all right? So this is a very serious uh, condition. The unfortunate part is there is not one specific clear cause of bloat. There are many theories about it, some of which I'm going to you know, go over with you now. So one big part has to do with exercise, all right? and your dog eating and, um, and, and drinking food and water, all right? So the theory here is that after your dog has gone for a run, gone to the dog park, um, he's heavily breathing, he's panting, and he's sucking in a lot of air already. When he goes to drink, when he goes to eat, well, let's, start with, let's start with the food. When he goes to eat, all that food being sucked in, and now having a full stomach for whatever reason, that, that can cause his stomach to flip. Um, with water, again, sucking in too much air while he's trying to pant, while he's trying to drink, can cause that stomach to flip. So what I like to do as a rule is if I'm going to take my dog for a walk, for a run, um, I, I wait one hour, both before and after, to give him food. So if we're going to go for a walk, no food an hour before, and then once we get back, no food an hour after. Okay, that is for um, food. Water, when we come back from a walk, I know he's thirsty, he needs water. We don't want our dog to be dehydrated. So I let him drink, but I let him drink slow. I stand over the bowl, he starts drinking, drink, lapping, 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 and then I have him leave it. I say, leave it. And I have him wait for five to ten seconds so he can catch his breath. Okay, Max, take it. And then he goes back, he drinks, 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 drinks for about five seconds or so. Max, leave it. He takes a step back. And I let him pant and I let him, and I let him breathe. So I control the water. We don't want him gulping down large amounts of water and large amounts of air because, again, it can potentially lead to bloat. All right? um, like I said, there's not one clear sign, one clear reason why bloat occurs. There's just many theories. Another one is having a um, food bowl that is too low. If you have a large dog and your food bowl is too low, you'd w you want to try to get it, something to elevate it. Because again, for some reason, again, it's theory, when you're do we have a large dog that's bent down trying to get that food, um, something can happen where whether they suck in air or something happens with their stomach as they're swallowing, and it, something can happen where their stomach flips. All right? uh, th this is something that um, I was debating even making this video on because there's just not super concrete evidence as to what specific, specifically causes bloat. These are two of the more common things, particularly the exercise in food and water. Um, more so, I just want to make you aware of how, uh, you know, what bloat is uh, and, and how serious of a, a condition it is. If you, know, you notice that your dog's stomach, you will see your dog's stomach literally expanding. Um, foamy mouth can be happening, they can be dry heaving is a very common sign, um, but it is an emergency surgery. It's not a wait and see, it's not maybe he'll feel better in an hour, it's you go to the veterinary and the second you see it, because it's an emergency surgery, they have to cut open the dog, they gotta reverse it, or he dies, okay? Um, that's more so why I really wanted to make this video, just to make this um, uh, topic and this condition aware. This is more so for people with dogs who have deep, broad chests. Doberman Pinschers, Rottweilers, uh, Great Danes, okay? Big, deep breast, uh, deep chested dogs. Small breed dogs, it's not as common in. Um, this is more so for large breed dogs, but it's not, um, you know, impossible for this to occur in small breed as well. So, I just wanted to make this as a warning for big dog owners in particular to inform you about what bloat is and hopefully some ways we can try to prevent it. My dog out um, for walks, you know, mid-afternoon. From early afternoon to mid-afternoon when that sun is out, I know it's a beautiful day to us humans, 